On July 1, 1867, soldiers arrived here at Fort Davis, Texas. But they were not soldiers of the usual sort. They were black, and members of a new regiment, one of several whose men would soon become known as the Buffalo Soldiers. In 1866, the Army increased the number of cavalry regiments from six to ten, including two black units, the 9th and 10th. Called Buffalo Soldiers by the Indians because of the dark coats they wore and their short, curly hair, the black troopers epitomized America's new professional army, made up of battle-hardened veterans of the Civil War. Many of these men served on the western frontier until the Indian Wars ended in 1890. Fort Davis had been abandoned since 1861, and now companies C, F, H, and I of the 9th U.S. Cavalry under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Wesley Merritt returned. In addition to rebuilding the fort, the troopers escorted mail and stagecoaches, constructed roads, patrolled the Mexican border, and battled the Apache and Comanche. The Ninth fought mostly in the Southwest until 1881. Later, units went to Kansas and Washington State. The Tenth served with General Sheridan and were commanded by Colonel Benjamin Grierson, who had the Tenth from 1866 to 1890 in the southern plains of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Disciplined and tough, the 9th and 10th fought in 127 confirmed battles with Indians, on average inflicting 4.6 casualties per skirmish. Units from both regiments served in the Spanish-American War, the Philippine Insurrection, and Pershing's 1916 punitive raid into Mexico. At the outset of World War II, the 9th and 10th Cavalry were disbanded and their units absorbed into the Army. <laughs>